Hello, hello, I'm Sam I Am, and welcome to Sam I Am Somewhere. Today, that somewhere is the Regal in the Morristown Mall for another out of the theater movie review. It's Thursday night, that means it's movie night, and tonight's movie is The Last Voyage of the Dementors. You, do you know the worst thing about prison? The Dementors. I'm very excited to see another vampire movie. It's been a while since Morbius. Renfield and Hotel Transylvania. Hotel Transylvania. Well, 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 well. We took care of our chicken business. Now it's time to sit back and relax in the comfy recliner in the movie theater. And the way we go. Okay, guys, we just watched The Last Voyage of the Dementors. Let's do a review. My first reaction, it was good overall. Dracula's must know the number one role on the cruise. If you see it, you eat it. You know what makes it fun? He plays with his food. Add him up, you're up. What was your first reaction? It was kind of what I expected for um, a survival horror movie. Don Solo, what was your first reaction? Uh, the Dracula movie, uh, liked it. It was Dracula. All right, let's move on to the positive things. My positive things that the character did a good job, Huckleberry, and the knock did a, I like the knocks were in it too, like this. And I also like the Demeter of the ship. Adam, what were your positive things? I like this type of movie. This type of movie is um, a survival horror movie where it puts the characters in deadly environment and they face off against a threat that's usually supernatural or alien and that's the kind of movie that I like. So like the gold standard for these movies I would say are The Thing or Alien. Don Solo, what were your positive things? The suspensefulness, like you kept waiting for the scares and you know the, the music and everything goes along with it. You're waiting, for, waiting to jump, you're on your toes. Okay, let's move on to the negative things. My negative things that it was a little scary and I don't like the nighttime when Dracula came out. Adam, up, what were your negative things? Oh, well, it was it seemed to be missing a little something. It was it was it was definitely too long and it seemed to be missing like creative kill scenes and it didn't have a lot of jump scares, which you would think that a movie like this would have. I don't know, too much of a slow burn. Don Solo, what were your negative things? Just the obvious, like do's and don'ts, and they didn't, and they should have. That's usually what I, I like in horror movies when they make dumb mistakes, decisions. Dumb decisions. Yeah. yeah, they do make a lot. The characters make a lot of dumb decisions. Okay, let's do the rating. I will rate it eight out of ten. Adam, up. What would you What would you rate it? Um, I'm gonna go seven out of ten. Don Solo. Five. Would you pay to go see it or nah? Just wait for streaming. This one, if you like movies, if you like horror movies, I'd pay to go see it, but you can also wait for streaming. Pay to go see it. Uh, like I said, five, so if you like Dracula, go see it, but you're not missing anything if you don't. Well, we did it all. We ate Chick-fil-A, we watched the movie, and we talked about it. Next week's movie is Blue Beetle. So if you enjoy this video, Please hit the like button and you can subscribe anytime because it's free for you. Okay guys, thanks for watching and we will see you real soon.